Right now we are at about seven to 8,000 feet in elevation. And as you can see, it's pretty cold right now. Contrary to what some people may believe, visiting the Grand Canyon in the winter season is actually pretty incredible. You get a lot of snowfall, a little bit of dusting on the top of the rims. The Grand Canyon was formed over 200 million years ago by the Colorado River along with other erosional forces. The winter season typically begins around November and continues on through mid-April in some cases. By around December, or January, the canyon is usually completely entrenched in snow. The average temperatures in the wintertime can range from about 30 to 40 degrees. It can also reach highs of 40 to 50 degrees in the winter as well. On average, the South Rim can expect snowfall from 50 to even 100 inches over the course of the wintertime. Sometimes the snow even makes it over into the river. Not only is it an absolute winter wonderland out here, but in the winter season, the crowd volumes tend to be a lot less and the pace is a lot slower. So the winter season is the perfect time to visit if you're looking to come at a time where there are definitely less crowds, a lot more space on the trails. Got lots of elbow room out here, as you can see. Those who come out here around this time will also find a lot of the trails a lot quieter and less congested. If you do decide to make the trip out here during the winter, make sure, first of all, that you have some snowproof, snow-ready shoes in case of days like this where there was fresh snowfall. I believe last night there was maybe eight to 10 inches of snow. The South Rim of the Grand Canyon is home to Grand Canyon National Park, which achieved national park status back in 1919. So at this point, it is now at least 100 years old. The South Rim is home to national historic landmarks such as the El Tovar Hotel, Bright Angel Lodge, Grand Canyon Railroad Depot, and the Grand Canyon Lodge. The Grand Canyon National Park helps to preserve the wildlife and the space for future generations to enjoy.